First at six, major new developments in a series of ATM explosions across the Bay Area. This is video from three of the four banks hit. Investigators now say the number of ATMs targeted has doubled. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jameson Euler. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thanks for joining us. Deputies also just released new surveillance photos of the suspects. Our Isabel Rosales is following the trail of evidence and finding out what might be motivating this dangerous crime. Big developments tonight in the bizarre case of ATMs blowing up. This individual's becoming extremely brazen. Just into the newsroom. We're learning there's not one, but two potential suspects. The MO, they spray paint the cameras and head straight to the cash machines. Here's Sheriff Chad Cronister early this morning. This is the first individual that I can recall that is trying to blow up the device to access the money. First person in 29 years that I can remember. Several ATMs targeted across Valrico, West Chase, and Old Smart, dating as far back as July. This Valrico Regents Bank hit three times. And just this Sunday morning, a blast. For the first time, money is stolen. Bombers are very distinct in how their personality and behaviors are um, developed. USF's Dr. Brianna Fox calls the details very rare. She'd know. She used to profile suspects as an FBI special agent. Fox says those who use explosives tend to be narcissists, introverted, and skillful. Just take a look. Here's a demonstration by law enforcement. Different explosives, all powerful precise, and above all, dangerous. I don't know how sophisticated the device is. I don't know how experienced his, he is. So you never know the damage or the harm he could cause to anyone else. Fox doesn't think they'll stop. Potentially money and the thrill, um, the thrill of using the bomb and knowing that he's in control. In Hillsborough County, Isabel Rosales, ABC Action News.